guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, this is the last part of our Revit Fire Alarm Systems Design uh, series of videos. So we are now already on the detailing part and this is already the last video of this video series. Okay, so for this one, we are going to talk about how to import uh, AutoCAD files into our Revit file or into our Revit project and then after that I'm also going to show you how to insert views using a drafting view into our project okay so in our last video I have uh, teach you how to create a drafting view alright so this time around so aside from using a drafting view for your details you can also use AutoCAD files into your Revit project. So instead of redoing the whole thing using a drafting view, so you can use your AutoCAD file. Okay, so let's do this one. So for the first part of the exercise, let's insert views from files. Or let's in, uh, import AutoCAD files into our Revit. Okay, so let's go to the insert. So let's say, for example, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to create here a drafting view because that is where we are going to insert our uh, AutoCAD file. Okay, so let's create a drafting view. So let's open up the view and then let's create a drafting view. Okay, and then you just specify here the name. So let's say, for example, uh, we'll call it details from CAD. Okay, so for the scale, so let's say I'll just use 12 inches to one foot. And then I'll just select your OK. All right. So now for our details from CAD, as you can see from the properties here, it's on the discipline coordination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the discipline to um, electrical. And then the sub-discipline, I'm going to change that to fire alarm. Okay, so that it will be added here on our electrical discipline. And then we are going to look for our drafting view here, which is this one. And that one, the details from CAD. Okay, so let us now start inserting our CAD file. So instead of redoing the whole thing here in our drafting view, using our annotating tools here, our detail lines, detail tools, dimension, text. So instead of doing that, so let's use an AutoCAD file. So let's select insert. Now we have two ways of uh, inserting our CAD drawing inside the Revit. So we have import CAD and then we also have link CAD. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use import CAD. So let's select that one. And then I'm going to open up. Let's say this is the symbols that I want. The details so I'm going to select that and then for the colors I'll just make it black and white here I'll leave the import units to auto detect and now for the positioning it doesn't matter you can select any of the positioning here then after that just select open okay let's wait and then you just need to right click and then uh, zoom to fit. So there's now your uh, symbols or your legend. Okay, so now the next thing that we are going to do is let us now insert our drafting view into our sheet here. So remember, we have created our sheets here, which is the F101 schedule and symbols. So I'm going to open that sheet. So let's say I'm going to insert somewhere here. So all I have to do is to look for that drafting view just drag and drop inside the paper and then I can now place it somewhere here okay so let us uh, click these two panel schedule and then I'm just going to tidy up by moving that to the to that side so that it's not too close to the edge all right Okay, so basically that's how you use your CAD. And aside from that, if you're going back to the details from CAD, 
if you want you can also control the visibility of your uh, layer of the AutoCAD first off you can go to the visibility graphics override and then you can go to the imported categories and then you can expand that CAD file that you imported so you can expand that so you can control the visibility here okay so aside from using the visibility graphic overrides to control your drafting view details from CAD our AutoCAD drawing you can also select your drawing here your AutoCAD drawing just make sure that uh, I think this one is pinned so that you'll be able to select it because the moment you import your AutoCAD here automatically it will be pinned and if this is disabled like that there's an X there you will not be able to select that right so in order for you to select a pinned element you just need to select select pinned elements so just click that and there you go so you are now able to select that okay and then from here you can use uh, query tools you can select that and then let's say you want to know what is the layer of this element so you can click that and then it will tell you what is that layer and some uh, parameters that you can use here and you also have an option here if you are going to delete that layer or hide that particular layer in the view okay so take note that this is not only on your text but it can also apply to other elements of your AutoCAD like circles lines okay hatches so you can use the import instance query tool so that if you want to delete that you can do if you want to hide that you can also do that and then you can also check what is the layer of that particular uh, element and what is the type of that element okay so I'm just going to select here okay so again this is actually part of the examination wherein you will be asked to import an AutoCAD drawing and then you will be asked to query and check what is the layer of a particular element okay so let me repeat again so you just need to select your CAD drawing and then you can select their query okay and aside from that aside from query on the left side there's an explode here so you can uh, full explode it okay if you want to control the text if you want to change that or you also have a partial explode it disassembles the import symbol one level to its highest level of elements okay so this is a partial explode and then full explode okay so because right now there is no way for you to be able to control the text here like for example you want to change the description you will not be able to do that because it's just a symbol it's an import symbol so in order for you to modify that make sure you unpin that and then you have an option here partial explode it okay so you can use the partial explode so let me just quickly show it to you so I select partial explode and there you go so it will now becomes a rabbit text here so you can now double click that and then you can now change your element here okay and aside from that I'm going to undo this to undo the explosion all right so I select again so you also have in an option to delete the layers so you can click delete layers and then you can select from here again if you're not sure what is the layer that you will be deleting so it would be better to select the import symbol and then use the query and then select the element like for example this one so you will now know what is the layer of that and then you also have an option to delete it okay and then you also have here the basic uh, arrange tools like if you want to send it to back send backward okay uh, bring to front bring forward okay so that is uh, these are the options that you will be able to select once you have selected your import symbol okay so this is different from linking so because if you link your AutoCAD drawing there will not be an option here wherein you can explode it so there's no explode when you link your uh, when you link your CAD file 
So what happens if you want to update your CAD file, if you use link, so you need to update the original AutoCAD drawing and then you save it. Then after that, you just reload the latest in this uh, uh, reload the latest CAD drawing. Okay, so I do have a uh, topic for that. You can search it from my channel about the difference between the link CAD and then the import CAD. All right. Now, so aside from using our CAD drawing to put it inside our sheet, so another way to use a details is to reuse a drafting view. Okay, so let's say, for example, you already have drafting views from your previous project. Like, for example, this is a drafting view, right? So it is a uh, drafting view. So if you already have a drafting view in your previous project and then you want to reuse again, okay, you want to reuse again that drafting view here in your new project, so you can do that. Okay, so what you can do is you need to save first the drafting view. For example, this is the old project, so you just need to save that. You can select save to new file. Okay, so what will happen is it will save this drafting view separate Revit file okay so once you save it so you can now reuse that drafting view to your new project let's say for example this is our new project so I'm now going to reuse the drafting view that I have saved before for example so to do that I go to the insert and then I go to the insert from file and then there's an option here insert views from file so you just need to click that <coughs> And then you just look where you save it, all the drafting views. And then let's say this is the one. So I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to select here open. Okay, so that file is in 2015. It's now being upgraded to 2020. Okay, so let us just wait while it is being upgraded. Right. Okay, now these are the list of the drafting views saved on that file. So let's say, for example, I'm just going to use the. Uh, 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 um, all right, so I'm going to select these drafting views. Okay, so once you select, you just need to select here, okay. That's it. So it's just a render material, so it says duplicate types. So just select here, okay. There you go. So it's now here. So as you can see, our first drafting view, the discipline is under mechanical, and then the sub-discipline is coordination. That's why if we go to mechanical discipline, you, look, uh, you need to look for the coordination, sub-discipline, you expand that. And then there's your drafting views. So you just expand that. And then you will now see here all your drafting views. Okay. All right. So this one is empty, this one. All right. Okay. So these are the drafting views. So let us now insert the drafting views to our sheets. So let's say the general notes, just drag and drop, and then again, just tidy up it, and then the ceiling, okay, that's it, and there you go, oops, I think this, alright, so this one's different, right, okay, so basically that's how you insert uh, details from CAD. Okay, so again, we are using drafting view. You create a drafting view and then you insert your CAD drawing just like this one. And then another way to do a detailing is to reuse your drafting views. Those drafting views that you have uh, used before in your project. So all you have to do is to save that drafting view by right-clicking the drafting view and then selecting save to new file. And then you save that to the folder where you want that to be saved. Okay, so basically that's now our uh, project. So that is our 
Revit Fire Alarm System Design. So by the way, if you want to print that, just Control P, Control P, that is Control Plot, and then usually I just print it by PDF. So I just select PDF. I can select uh, multiple views here, or I can use the current window, and then you can use uh, preview, just like that. Okay. So again, you can Control P. You can also set up your settings here. And then you can use, uh, let's say, uh, the default here is letters. So I can select A3. You can select Zoom. Then I can select your OK. Let me preview. So this is how it looks like. So it looks funny. So let's go back again to print. Setup. How about 50%? Uh, okay. No. Preview. Okay. So how about 25%? Uh, so set up for the A3. I so use 25%. Okay. No. Save. Preview. <laughs> so funny. So set up center okay uh, 50 percent you just play around with the with the percentage so I can't I can't select here the exact one or probably I'll just fit this one fit to the page okay right okay so that's that's how you use your auto drawing that's how you use your drafting view to create your detailing Alright, so hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.